The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. General? Sorry, General, I'm f something else. This was the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. His skill was considered remarkable, even in his time, when many true lightsaber masters lived. That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. The holocron would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. Ahead lies the tomb of Nagasada, successor to Makaragnos, and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the Great Hyperspace War a millennia ago. More recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. With their leader gone, many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. Before you, is the tomb of the great Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadal first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadao became Ragnos' successor. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! 
You've disturbed the spirit of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts, corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith, too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these hisses as thralls to their will. This way leads to the tomb of Ajanta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. Ajanta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of Ajanta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. One who has fallen so far and done so much evil does not deserve redemption. In a way, such a turning from one's nature is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. Perhaps, but redemption is a form of spiritual collapse, a fall few recover from. Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did Ajanta Paul. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. Here. You can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. The new Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. So does Korriban protect its secrets.
I heard you making friends with the bounty hunter. I don't blame you. She's a scrapper. I've known people like her. Maybe without the rocket launchers, but sort of the same. I wouldn't let anything she says bother you. It's a... All right. great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the academy before venturing into the cave. Somebody left the doors of the academy wide open. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm. This looks like a trap if ever I've seen one. You can expect more than these beasts within the academy. Be prepared. Find her. 